Well, hello there. My name is Leanne, and I am here at Colonial Michelin Mackinac in our commanding officer's house where I have a fabulously large fireplace. I, right now it's winter, and winter in northern Michigan can be quite cold. There's not a ton to do. There's always shoveling and ice fishing. Uh, we know people were going ice skating as well. Um, but one of the popular things that they did here in the winter time that trumped all of those was to have parties. There was music, there was dancing, and there was always food and there was always drink to accompany that. So today I am going to be making a particular drink called Sangaree. It was enjoyed here, we know, in the 1770s um, by a group of people having a party. And at this particular party, it was written that a man named Ensign Johnson got up to a bit of mischief. And I'm going to read the quote to you about it because I think it's really interesting. Um, and it's very well written. This is an original source from, sorry, not the 1770s, from 1769, um, very close. Uh, but the way that it's written um, says that Ensign Johnson uh, had blabbed out publicly, vauntingly and wantonly, that he had mingled four ounces of jalap with the water that was boiling for proportioning out the punch and sangaree. So again, that gives us the idea that those were two very specific drinks being drunk here. And Ensign Johnson, by putting that jalap in the sangaree and the punch water, was um, was actually kind of poisoning the people he was having the party with. So not a very kind thing to do. The version that we're going to be making today will have no jalap in it though. But to get started, I already have the water heating in the fireplace. Um, again, this will be, with the hot water, it will be a hot drink. In some places it was also made with ice, but winter time here we want hot drinks, not cold drinks. So my water is heating. I'm going to pull both my water and my mug out of the fireplace. Got my nice tea kettle and my nice mug. This will be sangaree for one. So the first thing we're going to do is mix the wine and sugar together. Now sangaree is made with Madeira and sugar. Both of those things are more commonly seen, especially the sugar in the Caribbean. But at Michelin Mackinac, we also were able to get quite a lot of sugar here. The big trade canoes could carry so much weight um, up to three tons, maybe a ton and a half of merchandise. So I've got my Madeira in the cup and the sugar that was imported is going to go in as well. Um, we're going to start with that much. I'm feeling quite sweet today. All right, and now I'm going to add my water. It's roughly equal parts. All right. Give it another stir to make sure it's all dissolved. I can still, okay, there's the sugar. And then the thing that makes this really nice is that we're going to grate nutmeg on top. So it's really easy, four ingredients, water, sugar, wine, and nutmeg. And I'm going to grab my nutmeg and be right back. All right, so I've got my nutmeg. We have wine, sugar, and water in my cup. This is the finishing touch. So we're just going to grate that right over the top. I do tend to like a lot of nutmeg, so we'll make sure we've got plenty in the cup. Knock a little bit off. Perfect. We'll give it a stir. All right, we've got all of our ingredients in here. We have nutmeg, sugar, wine, water, hot water. I'm going to give it a taste. That is very nice and I think will definitely help our winter go by much nicer. I would like to thank you for joining me today and learning a little bit about this 18th century punch, sangaree. 
uh, the recipe will be out there for you to enjoy. If you do make it at home, please let us know. And also, if you can, go to our Mackinac Associates website and make a donation or become a member of our Mackinac Associates group. It helps support programs like this. My name is Leanne, and I hope to see you this summer at Colonial Michelin Mackinac. Thank <laughs> you.